are going to go ahead and get started. I want to welcome all of you to the Hunting, Huntington Square Senior Apartments. I'm Kimberly Marshall. I'm the Economic Development Director for the City of Medina. And we do these ribbon cutting events jointly with the Medina Chamber of Commerce. Devin Diello is here representing the Chamber. And then also Matt Wiederhold from Main Street Medina. Hello. Uh, he's our new Executive Director. And uh, we've got some folks here today that I would like to introduce uh, to sort of talk a little bit about the project. And uh, first we're going to start with uh, our Mayor, Dennis Hanwa. Thanks, Kim. Thanks, Kimberly. It's my uh, pleasure to be here today with you all. Uh, she mentioned the, uh, the Chamber, Main Street, uh, the county, the state, everything we do in Medina is collaboratively. Because what we found is by all working together, we can, we can do things uh, a lot better, a lot more efficiently, and a lot more effectively. And what, what you're living in here is an example of that. If you, if you happen to be on the back side of the building, you'll see the seed that was planted here that then developed the rest of the nine or 10 acres that the old Pythian home used to be on. There's three separate projects going on next door. This is for all that used to be one, one property that wasn't being used at all. We're seeing the same type of development in our industrial area. We've, we've had over $40 million in industrial investment and over $2 million in new payroll um, just in the last seven or eight years. Um, so it's not only the square that's doing well, uh, but the city as a whole. And, and I feel strongly that it's because of the collaborations that we do, it's because of our processes. Uh, we've done everything we can to make our processes easy so folks don't have to keep coming back and forth. If we have to have an inspector stay over a little bit later to keep a project moving along, if they have to come in on Saturdays and Sundays, I know people don't like to do that, but we think it's important when people are making a financial investment to do everything we can to, to support them. So that's what makes Medina uh, special and different than everybody else. And, and the more different we are than everybody else, then the more chance there is for other investments and, and things to happen here. A number of my staff are here. Uh, our, chief, our Chief of Police, uh, Ed Kinney, Hello. is here. Matt is behind the camera with our cable office. Uh, he, he can't wave because he's got to keep the camera going. But, uh, Sergeant uh, Scott Markham is here as well. He runs the patrol division. In the police department. Jonathan Mendel is our community <coughs> development director, which oversees planning, building, and economic development. Uh, Kimberly's our economic development director, and Dan Gladish is the building official who was here from day one and um, is still here, uh, making sure that everything is, is, is smooth, everything is done, uh, everything is up, up to par, both from your perspective, from the city's perspective, and from the surrounding neighbors' perspective, because all of those were important to us, and, and we as a city want to make sure that, that we're serving everybody. So thank you all. Barbara is here uh, marketing. <laughs> you lose the people behind the cameras, I'm sorry. Barbara is um, uh, with our economic development department and, and she handles all the marketing for the city and she also takes pictures and then I don't notice her, so thank you. <laughs> oh, and I, I do have a, uh, Senator Larry Opa uh, is the president of the Ohio Senate and he will generally attend these but they keep him pretty busy covering the entire state. So um, he, he issued, a resolution from the state of Ohio Senate, uh, which we're going to present uh, to you, Megan. And I'm just going to read one paragraph of it. it, it and it says, it is through efforts of institutions such as Huntington Square Senior Apartments that Ohio has gained a reputation as a state whose residents are eager to invest in the future of their community. The many individuals who have been involved with the establishment of this endeavor have applied vision and expertise to effectively meet the growing need for quality senior housing, and they are deserving of high praise. And I present this to you on behalf of the Ohio Senate.
And, and I can tell you, that as you look at this group up here, especially to my left, uh, we're aging. We're, we're, we're going to need somewhere because, you know, cutting the grass, taking care of the houses, you know, it's, it's getting older and older. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. And again, that's suitable for framing. Of so course. next time you come, we'd like to see it, see it hanging in a prominent Most area. definitely. <laughs> okay, next we would like to introduce State Representative Steve Hambly, who represents the majority. Majority of Medina. About two thirds of Medina. Uh, two thirds of Medina County, um, District 69. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, uh, Kimberly. It is an honor to be here, and it, it, it's a real pleasure to kind of. Uh, one of the things I've learned, at least in state government, what we need to do is provide people with more options, local governments with more options. This is another option for many many people in, in the community. There is a saying that you know, a home is made of brick and beams, a house is made of love and dreams. And we have to thank the owners and the people, the managers here, of providing that house, providing the brick and, and, and well, in this case, stone, uh, and the beams and so forth, that structure. But it's all your residents here. All your residents here, they're going to provide the dreams. All the residents here are going to provide the love for one another as a community, together. And that's what's really important. Is the, 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 this transforms, transforms into a house for people that are reaching my age, and the, and the mayor, as he said, as we get a little bit older, gives us the option to turn it into a home. A home where we find friends, we can have family together, and we can really makes, makes Medina County and the city of Medina a special place. And this is at the center of that special place. So indeed, congratulations on a, a well done project. Looks, looks awesome, and I'm glad to know that the more and more people are taking advantage of that option. It's like I said, it just the love is going to grow and the dreams are going to grow here, no doubt. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Representative. And next, I would like to introduce uh, Medina County Commissioner Bill Hudson. Good morning, and uh, thank you for having me. If I had to pick one word to describe this facility, it'd be wow. Uh, I am very, very impressed. Uh, by what uh, they've constructed here. And uh, I understand there's about 131 units that yes. open for a couple of months, and uh, nearly 50 of them are already subscribed. So there's obviously a great demand for this uh, in Medina County. And uh, you know, as a, as a business owner, uh, they, they have the ability to invest dollars wherever they choose. And, um, and we thank you for investing in Medina County and, uh, and bringing and increasing our quality of life here. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. And next, I would like to introduce Matt Wiederhold, our Executive Director for Main Street Medina. Matt. Thank you so much, Kimberly. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I have the great pleasure of working with many of the businesses on the Medina Square and around our wonderful historic district. Um, we do a lot of special events and business recruitment and cool things on the square. I'm so thrilled to have you all living in such close proximity. You can walk up to the square or take the bus and uh, come to some of the events that we have and shop local, support our local businesses, and check out some of the great restaurants we have in the district. This weekend, by the way, coming up, starting tonight, is Candlelight Walk. We hope that you'll join us to kick off the holiday celebration. Thank you for your investment in the community and for bringing more people to the city of Medina. Today is a really exciting day. We have three ribbon cuttings, plus we have candlelight walk kickoff, and our city's bicentennial kickoff with a non-alcoholic champagne toast that's going to occur at 7.15. Well, the mayor has to light up the square first, so we gotta get that done first. So, And then I think the county is also celebrating their uh, bicentennial as well. So and the schools, so we have a lot of parties. So you all have a lot to do in this town, so. Okay, and next I would like to turn it over to the property manager, Megan Thacker. Megan? Well, my speeches are not gonna be like theirs. <laughs> I was very nervous about doing this today, so I'm gonna keep it very brief. First, I'd like to just thank all of you for being here today. It is amazing. Um, I am truly blessed to be in the community and, it, and to have the opportunity to see and build this community here. I'm very excited. Um, with that being said, um, enjoy the festivities today. We have prizes in every room. So if you're a prospect here today, um, we have our current residents who have volunteered to help out and tour you around the building. And you're more than welcome to enter your 
raffle tickets that you can receive from Roy, who will be posted at the elevator after everybody eats. So you can submit your tickets and those fish bowls, and then you can win a, win a prize. All right, thank you all for coming. So before we cut the ribbon, how about one last final applause for the huge investment from Clover Management. Okay, now we have to cut a ribbon. One, two, three. Yay. <laughs>